In other news, the IDF is scrapping a controversial military practice in the West Bank, although it's unclear why the decision was made. Nonetheless, Israeli activist groups are applauding this change in policy. Hannah Rifkin reporting with more. An unexplained change in policy announced by the IDF, putting a stop to nighttime intelligence mapping, also known as the infamous night raids of Palestinian homes in the West Bank. The practice, one of the most controversial carried out by the military in the West Bank, or Judea and Samaria, is meant to gather intelligence about a home's occupants and lay out in alleged efforts to counter terror. This according to the IDF. Human rights groups believe, however, it serves no strategic purpose, only managing to intimidate and traumatize civilians. A report published by three activist groups in particular, Yesh Dean, Breaking the Silence, and Physicians for Human Rights in Israel, calling the mappings, quote, arbitrary invasions of homes with no proven illegal or terror activity to prompt them. Therefore, Yesh Dean, for one, calling the IDF's decision to end the practice very significant. Again, though, the IDF standing by its position and countering critical reports with a report of their own, saying that the missions carried out are, quote, not random operations and are, quote, intended for operational intelligence purposes. The IDF also clarifying that there are strict protocols in place to, quote, minimize the effect on residents' quality of life, and the report adding that nighttime mapping would indeed continue, but only in, quote, exceptional circumstances. Hunter Ifkin, ILTV.